<clears throat> All right, so yesterday, which was 11.22, that makes today 11.23, Sarah Jane and I went to do a little prospecting up in the San Gabriel on the East Fork. Uh, we usually just bring our concentrates from our sluice box back home in a bucket and we just pan them out. So this is going to be the video of me panning them out. I saw quite a few nice sized pieces yesterday that I uh, pretty sure stayed in the sluice box. Didn't get any video of it because they moved through pretty fast. You got your common little suction bottle. Pick up all the nice little flakes out of it. And your little magnet. Got to use the magnet to make sure you get all the, help you get as much metal out of it as you can. So, all right, there we go. As you can see, this is what we got out of the back barrel that came out of the, came out of the sluice box we used yesterday. So I like to get some of the big, big rocks out first. Take a look at them. I don't like throwing any pieces of quartz away like that. You can see how it has that little piece in it of glimmery. You never know. That's all it takes a little piece of gold like that in that quartz. So I like to take a look at it. I have nothing better to do usually when I bring it home and clean it out. As you can see, there's a lot of black sand. A ton of black sand in it. That's always good to see. Sure you rinse all these rocks off before you pitch them. And here we have my your everyday kitty pool. It's my dog pool slash place where I do all my separations. Get everything classified down. Oh, this is heavy. This has got a lot of material in it. A lot of black sand. A lot of garnets too, I bet. I'm not too interested in looking for garnets, but in order to do garnets, you have to do it a lot slower. The garnets will go out just like that. They will stay in your sluice box. It looks like a piece of jade right there. So, let's keep it liquefied. You gotta keep it swirling. Keep plenty of water in it. That'll make the gold drop out to the bottom. Actually, we could try to pull a little mess. A little iron out of it. Oh yeah, there's a lot of iron in it. Try to drag my finger under the magnet so the magnet's not touching anything. It's just picking up Globs and globs of iron. Kind of hot out today. Been enjoying some cold weather lately. And now, when it's 80, it feels hot. It's it all liquefied. Get some of this lighter sand off of the top. See, it's still a lot of black sand. And you know, everybody has their own way of pan. Swirl, swirl, pitch. You know, tons of different ways. I used to like to get two, three sweeps like that. Take it around. Got these nice riffles in this pan that I got from the GPAA. Get my membership with them. As you can see, still pretty heavy. Probably get some more metal out of it. Might want to always make sure you're wearing safety glasses too when you're flicking this metal. That would not be good if it flashed off the side and stuck in your freaking eye. They make a little magnet that you 
thumb the end of it. Of course, it's the magnet on the end. Suck up your metal and move it over to the side. Just let it go. And it comes off. Pretty awesome little tool, but I'm too lazy to go out and buy them. I'd rather have this little thing easy to carry around. Close my backpack real easy. I'm pretty sure I saw a couple of nice pieces yesterday. We were up at Nugget Alley. We never go there. Because as you saw in the video, if you watch the video, people start coming down fast. It's a it's a well-known camping area for inner city families. Get up in the mountains, recreate. Doesn't make it good though. If your wife won't let you leave the dogs at home. She never let me leave the dogs at home, so I constantly got the dogs to deal with. So anytime people come around, oh shit. Here we go, little dogs off of chains. No leashes for nothing. Don't worry about it, my dog's nice. But I'm like, yeah, well, I don't know if my dog is. So, why don't we just leave it at that? You get your dog on a leash. But that's why people bring them up to the woods. So they don't have to put them on a leash. All right, got a lot of black sand out. I could actually do a check right now. Could uh, now separate it out a little bit in the pan and see what we got. Very pretty good pieces in here. Like you said, swirl, swirl, swirl. Shake lightly. Everything settles. Sweep off the lightweight. One, two, three. If you're up, this is a good time if you can to take out a couple of these bigger rocks. Some reason they're heavy, so take a good look at them. Otherwise, they would have already left. Probably just a lot of magnetite in them. Okay. That's some more agua. Ooh, I just saw a nice flake right there. I hope that was a flake. Can you hear good from there, I hope? I'm gonna have to do this video over again. Oh, shit! Oh, I think that's an actual, almost a picker. Oh, hell yeah. Well, maybe I shouldn't have made a video of this area. Nah. My wife and I know we can't get it all. If it's a public place, public area we like to let everybody know what's going on help out the sport oh fuck there's several pieces in here I can see them already nice little picker I think I just saw <coughs> let me get a towel real quick getting kind of warm sitting in the sun Dogs are all passed out. Ah, oh, this is looking good. Let's see if we can get some of these rocks out of here. There's a little piece right there, a little flake. I don't know how well you can see that in the camera. Let's get it over here. Okay, now once I get to this point, I like to just play it safe a little. See if I can't give it an 
idea of what I got in there. Started seeing flakes at this point, you're pretty good. Holy shit, is that a ah, rock? Maybe that's the rock I saw that I thought was a big flake. You can pick these little rocks out where you're going, it'll make it easier next time. When you really want to fine it down, get it down to real, real fine. As you can see, there's a lot of little garnets in here. This whole thing is lined with little red garnets. I don't know if you can see that on there. Well, I guess we didn't get as much. Oh, here we go, a little bit of color. A lot of little flakes up there. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, see all the little flakes in there? flakes already oh hell yeah oh oh yeah that's about I'd say six and a half seven hours worth of work I don't know if you can see all that right there I got a lot of pellets Put up a lot of pellets Ooh. oh that's like a picker right there Ah oh, man, I wish I could be sure that you could see that. Look at that. Oh yeah. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, a lot of pellets. Pellets. A lot of lead. If you're finding lead, you're doing it right. That's for sure. Oh. Oh, what do we got here? Oh heck! Oh, two little pickers! Woohoo! And a whole lot of buckshot, ton of buckshot in there, and tons of little flakes for sure. Two little pickers. Not hundred percent sure yet. That's it. But that looks like it. Oh, this looks a little light. This might be. Nope. Nope. It's cool. So that's how you do it, you know, and then, whoa, that's fucking nice. So for this much, I'll probably take this pan and suck out all the goodies with the bottle. Normally, I would just, you know, suck out all the good stuff and maybe just the two or three bigger flakes, and then I'd just pitch the rest of it, but... Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Let's see if I can't get that to show really well. That was definitely some pickers and a couple little pickers. And like I said, that came out of Nugget Alley in the East Fork. We have a video we did yesterday. My wife doesn't like it, of course, but she never likes any of them. So it's because I'm not a professional cameraman. It's just wing it. Just turn the fucking thing on and start tripping around with it. Yeah, lots of garnets. Tons of garnets. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Yeah, not bad. Now, how well you can see that. There's a couple little pickers in there, about, I'd say 20, 25 buckshots and, and maybe five to ten pellets right on all right so keep digging that's how it's done <laughs> keep digging hope you find some nuggets